Good evening. I would like to welcome everyone to the Class of 2023 Awards Night. Uh, this is a special night that we get to recognize these special students. Uh, this has been a great class. They have achieved so much. Uh, we're going to miss them a ton, um, but we're excited to see what they do in the future. Uh, tonight's going to be a special night because of their achievements. I uh, first want to start off by thanking uh, our presenters who are with us tonight, uh, taking their evening to come uh, spend their time with us uh, for your um, time, the money that you're giving these students uh, is much appreciated from all of us at Harrison County High School. Uh, so I want to thank you first. <laughs> at this time, I'd also like to thank our members from Central Office, the Board of Education, County Commission, any other city, uh, county elected officials that we have in attendance. Thank you for spending your Tuesday evening with us at the Class of 2023 Awards Night. Uh, I do want to make this announcement, most of you are aware, but graduation is next Friday night, May 19th, uh, Friday night at 7 o'clock at the football stadium. So please join us, it'll be an exciting night, and at this time I'm going to turn it over to Gary Terry as we start our ceremony. Thank you. All right, I'm going to need a stepladder here, I'm going to move this mic down a little bit. Welcome to Anderson County High School Awards Night. Uh, our first award tonight will be the President's Award. Uh, the President's Education Award is presented to graduating seniors who have maintained a 3.5 GPA and have scored in the top 15% on the ACT or SAT. The 2022-2023 recipients of the President's Education Award are as follows. Please hold your applause till the end. Will Beard, Justin Bruce, Jonathan Klingen, Leah Coble, Jackson Cothran, Riley Davis, Kimber Edwards, Eowyn Hunter, Grant Jennings, Kaylee Kennedy, Haley Lawson, Zachary Lester, Willow Martinez, Caitlin McCamey, Summer Morris, Kendall Null, Mackenzie Owens, Lucas Pruitt, Nicholas Reynolds, Tate Russell, Carlotta Schley, Michaela Simmons, Anna K. Smith, Elizabeth Wilson, Justin Wiseman, Maddie Wolfenbarger, and Joshua Zapan. Please give these students a round of applause. Once again, congratulations to these students. Please give them another round of applause. Awesome. Yes, all right, you may be seated. As many of you are aware, our softball team is playing in the district tournament uh, that starts later tonight. And uh, so we're going to recognize some softball players first and foremost so we can get them back out there to their game. Uh, the Anderson County High School softball team, uh, Boosters, they choose a deserving student each year to receive a $500 scholarship. This year, the Anderson County softball Boosters would like to present this scholarship to Caitlin McCamey. Please welcome to the stage Anderson County Chamber of Commerce, Ms. Cindy Whaley, as she presents the Purses and Pearls of Anderson County Scholarship. The Anderson County Chamber of Commerce Foundation, along with the Purses and Pearls of Anderson County Luncheon Committee, is proud to announce the recipient of the Purses and Pearls of Anderson County Scholarship of $1,000. This year's recipient is Michaela Simmons, who is pursuing a professional career in business. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Whaley. 
At this time, we'd like to bring to the stage Mr. Sammy Woodfin to present the Rhonda Woodfin Memorial Scholarship. Good evening. Um, Rhonda worked in the guidance office for several years, just right across the This was her favorite night. And it was. This is just, um, she just loved this one. But she got so frustrated because there were so many people, so many students who worked so hard, there just wasn't enough work to do. It's really frustrating. Believe me, I know. I heard. Well, maybe that was a little prophetic, or uh, I don't know. Maybe you better be careful what you wish for. But I know she smiled. So she gets to be a part of this and being able to recognize some of this class. And uh, reading through all the scholarship applications, this class is pretty unbelievable. Athletically, academically, I, I don't know how many you had over 30 on there. It's unbelievable. Uh, civically, spiritually, um, you all are leaving. But thank you, all of you all, for uh, stopping by on Friday nights and buying cotton candy. Um, some of you didn't buy cotton candy, just handed us a little money and all the other donations we get. Uh, thank you for all of that. Uh, see you this fall again, I guess. So anyway, this year uh, we've got I've got three $1,000 awards to give out. And the first one is Kendall Knoll. Next one goes to Caitlin McCamey. <laughs> and the last one is Carlotta Chalet. very much. Thank you, Mr. Woodman. And at this time, we'll present the University of Tennessee at Knoxville Volunteer Scholarship Awards. Uh, one for $3,000 a year will go to Miss Michaela Simmons. Another volunteer scholarship award for $3,000 a year, Ms. Kayla McCamey. We'll now introduce our distinction graduates for softball. Students will be recognized as graduating with distinction by attaining a B average, which is a 3.0 GPA and completing at least one of the following. Earn a nationally recognized industry certification, participate in one of the governor's schools, participate in one of the state's all state musical organizations, be selected as a national merit finalist or semifinalist, attain a score of 31 or higher composite score on the ACT, attain a score of three or higher on at least two AP exams, or earn 12 or more semester hours of transcripted post-secondary credit, i.e. dual enrollment. Distinction graduates will be wearing blue and white cords at graduation. Again, these are our softball distinction graduates. Caitlin McCamey, McKenna Miller, Reese Miller, Michaela Simmons, and Maddie Wolfenbarger. Students who score at or above all the subject area readiness benchmarks on the ACT listed below uh, 
which are English 18, Math 22, Reading 22, and Science 22, or an equivalent score on the SAT, our students uh, that are honors graduates, including Law Day, and this is for our softball, you'll hear a larger group uh, later in the evening. Uh, beginning with the graduating class of 2022, numerical class rank has been replaced by the Latin honorific distinction established by Harvard University in 1869 with the terms cum laude with honor, magnum cum laude with great honor, and summa cum laude with highest honor. To qualify, qualify for this distinction, students must fall within the GPA ranges out, uh, outlines below regarding their weighted GPA as well as reaching all four benchmarks on the ACT. The distinction is determined by GPA as follows. Cum laude 3.5 to 3.79, magna cum laude 3.8 to 3.99, and summa cum laude 4.0 and greater. Honors graduates will be wearing gold cords at graduation. The following students will be graduating summa cum laude. Caitlin Alexis McKamey, <laughs> Michaela Brooke Simmons, and Maddie Christine Wolfenbarger. Paul, you are dismissed. Good luck tonight, ladies. This time we'd like to welcome to the stage Anderson County Commission Chairman Josh Anderson. Chairman Anderson, appreciate you. At this time, we'd like to welcome to the stage Mr. V.O. Stone Cipher.
Thank you, Mr. Sunsafer. <laughs> Next up is the AP Scholar. It is granted to the AP College Board Program to students who score three or higher on three or more AP exams. Anderson County High School has 13 members of the class of 2023 who are AP scholars. Please hold your applause to the end. Will Beard, Riley Davis, Kayla Humphrey, Willow Martinez, Josie McRae, Kendall Hull, Lucas Pruitt, Nicholas Reynolds, Carlotta Schley, Anna Kay Smith, Caroline Sperling, McLean Sperling, and Greta Williams. Once again, congratulations to these students. <laughs> Continuing on with the AP Scholar with Honor, AP Scholar with Honor is granted to AP College Board Program to students who receive an average score of a minimum 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on four or more of these exams. Anderson County High School has two members in the class of 2023 who are AP Scholars with Honors. Please stand Ms. Kendall Hull and Ms. Anna K. Smith. <laughs> Mr. Mr. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> AP Scholar with Distinction is granted to the AP College Board Program to students who receive an average score of a minimum 3.25 on all AP exams and scores three or higher on five or more of these exams. Anderson County High School has two members in the class of 2023 who are AP scholars with distinctions, Nicholas Reynolds and Carlotta Schley. Congratulations. Please welcome to the stage Lake City Elementary Henry Baggett Memorial Scholarship presenter, Ms. Katie Smith. Ms. Phillips. The Jean and Libby White Memorial Scholarship is awarded in honor of Jean and Libby White who both served the county for several years working with students to help them excel in academics. This scholarship holds preference to students who attended Briceville Elementary School and Lake City Schools. This is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to Elizabeth Wilson. Congratulations. Anderson County Education Association, or ACEA, has awarded an ACHS student a $1,000 scholarship. This scholarship is given as $500 per semester with passing grades. ACA, ACEA would like to congratulate at this time Tate Russell. The Vera Jo Henniger Delta Kappa Gamma Award is an International Society of Professional Women Educators. The Clinton Pie Chapter has created the Vera Jo Henniger Delta Kappa Gamma Grant 
in honor of a female student planning to pursue a career in education. This $500 grant is awarded to Caitlin Meredith. Congratulations. At this time, please welcome to the stage the presenter for the Norma Day Memorial Scholarship, Ms. Christy Day Hibbler. Good evening. I'll just take a moment briefly to tell you about the Norma Day Memorial Scholarship. Um, my mother was very um, active as far as teaching school. I'm at a Christian school for several years. Um, and we, she also was the director at Rocky Top Public Library. Um, her, and my, her and my dad both pastor um, in Gospel Light, at Gospel Light Church of God in Rocky Top for over 40 years. Um, and when mom passed last year, we wanted to do something in honor of her. And my dad and brother would love to be here, but they're at Clinton High School doing the same. That's where she attended high school. But um, my brother and I graduated from here. And so we want to do something for here too. But the criteria for this was is that you had to attend Lake City Elementary and Lake City Middle, and so we're proud to present the first annual Norma Day Memorial Scholarship to Natalie Lindsay. Thank you, Chrissy. The Cole Creek High School Class of 1939 Memorial Scholarship was formed in the year 2001 and is to be continued until 2039. The 1939 class was, sp was special in that it was the last class to graduate from Cole Creek High School and the first class to graduate from Lake City High School. The scholarship amount per recipient is $1,000. The scholarship requirements are the student must have attended Lake City Middle School, the student must plan to continue their education for certificate or degree program, and the student must show financial need. The recipient of the Cole Creek High School Class of 1939 Memorial Scholarship is Haley Brady. Congratulations. At this time, please welcome Mr. Jim Ed Wallace from the Norris High School Alumni Association to present their scholarship. classes were held at what is now Norris Middle School. It was called Norris School then. They didn't have the building complete, so they met in homes along Hilltop Lane in Norris. And that class graduated in the spring of 35. There were nine seniors in that class. A year later, when the building was completed, was a graduating class of 1936, there were 42 seniors. So, continued to grow. The first alumni meeting where there were joint classes got together and met, it uh, was in 1982, and in 1987 they decided to form an alumni association to track alumni and keep track of everyone's whereabouts. And then they realized when they had their annual meetings that they had excess funds each year. And in 1990, a scholarship committee was formed and they started giving $1,000 scholarships to students at Anderson County High School, regardless of where they went to elementary or middle school. Uh, in excess of 150 scholarships have been awarded from the Norris High School Alumni Association and the Newland Wallace Scholarship Fund. And we are here tonight to add six more names to that list. Uh, first recipient is Leah Cobb. Cook, Aaron Davis, Natalie Lindsay. Braden Miller. And Summer Morris.
Here to present the Harry Patton Memorial Scholarship, uh, sponsored by the Anderson County Sons of the Revolution, Gene Patton and Steve Portwood. Please welcome to the stage from Y-12 Bill T. Hicks Scholarship, Mr. John Nolan. Someone shine a light up there just so that that disco ball doesn't feel left out. Good evening. I can only see the first three rows. Everyone else, just pretend that I'm looking and talking in your general direction because the lights are just there. Uh, I'm from Y-12 Federal Credit Union, and we started the Bill T. Hicks Memorial Scholarship uh, over the course of the last, uh, now 12 years, and that scholarship was in, in his uh, honor, as he has been a longtime educator in Anderson County and supporter of education. Uh, unfortunately, Bill Hicks uh, recently just passed away within the last four weeks. Uh, we uh, got an opportunity to talk with his family beforehand tonight, and just wanted you to know that uh, he was so proud of all of the students that have won from Anderson County in the preceding years uh, and that have applied for the scholarship and so proud of all of the folks in the Anderson County area that have strived for higher education. And so last year I was here in 2022 and we joked and said what was better than being able to present one scholarship than two. The class of 2023 said hold my sweet tea. And they came away in a special shocker. We were able to honor not just four recipients this past year, but we were able to select a surprise two additional students for an additional $5,000 cash scholarship each. You have three recipients tonight on this stage. I'm gonna call all three of them to come up here in just a moment and hold your applause until they all get up here. That way uh, they can get up here at the same time. But this uh, cash scholarship is unique. Uh, and these young people have applied for this, in fact, uh, they were very careful to make sure that they were um, working on this application into the wee hours. One of their submissions came in at 11.50 p.m., the night of the deadline. <laughs> and I even got an email at 11.55 p.m. that I checked because I was awake, apparently. Please make sure that my application and submission was received before the deadline. And I immediately responded, yes, <laughs> you are... You are safe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present three deserving uh, seniors here tonight. First, Miss Isla Coker. <laughs> Miss Summer Morris. <laughs> and Miss Caroline Sperling. And if you guys will do me a favor and stare at the imaginary camera that we all think is back there. <laughs> Thank you very much. The Linda Roush Maverick Spirit Scholarship awards a student who has excelled in academics, leadership, and service at ACHS with a $1,000 scholarship. This year's winner truly embodies what it means to be a Maverick. Take Russell. From the Rocky Top Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Rex Lynch. Good evening, I'm Rex Lynch. I'm your Anderson County Circuit Court Clerk and I'm a Chamber Board Member. Uh, each year, the Chamber, we hold an annual dinner and we use our proceeds to do a lot of things for the Rocky Top community as well as support uh, the scholarships. And we have three $1,000 scholarships we'd like to award tonight. So the first one would be Jonah Arinder. Uh, Gracie Cody. And Kaylee Rutherford.
The Cold Creek Watershed Foundation has awarded over $600,000 to 64 Bryceville school graduates. Its scholarship recipients are now medical doctors, lawyers, engineers, teachers, nurses, business owners, and tradespeople. Tonight, the foundation is awarding a $10,000 scholarship to a student who plans to pursue a degree in nursing. In her essay to apply for the scholarship, she says, I made a promise to my grandmother that I would go to college and to graduate. This is a promise that I plan to honor plan on honoring because my grandmother instilled in me never to quit, to never give up on myself, and to set my goals high in life. Barry Thacker and, and Carol Moore of the Cold Creek Watershed Foundation are happy to be able uh, to help us this to help this student keep the promise she made to her grandmother. Tonight we would like to congratulate Miss Mackenzie Cable. The Rex Hitchcock Memorial Scholarship is a $2,000 scholarship given to one bank of, or given by one bank of Tennessee. The purpose of this scholarship is to reward a local student for uh, students for graduation in the pursuit of higher education. They would like to congratulate Summer Morris. The Anderson County Fair Scholarship is a $1,500 scholarship, and this year's recipient is Natalie Lindsay. <laughs> the Butterfly Fund Memorial Scholarship was established in 2016 to assist students pursuing a career in pediatric oncology. This scholarship is valued at $2,500. We would like to congratulate Leah Cobble. Please welcome to the stage, Andrew Bradbury. Good evening. My pleasure to, to uh, present the Catherine Michelle Anderson uh, PhD Memorial Scholarship. <coughs> Uh, like all the students here, Catherine started her education here at Anderson County High, uh, class of 1990. After graduation, she went on to earn her bachelor and master's degree at the University of Tennessee. Uh, and finally, a PhD uh, in the form of economics at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. With her own drive, determination, uh, she achieved many of life's goals. Um, she often worked in multiple jobs, took out student loans, received grants, scholarships, and so forth. Fill her lifelong dream of earning her doctorate degree. Her career included working in several health departments, uh, centers for disease control, along with teaching at several universities. Though she had many uh, successes during her career, her proudest moments were watching her students or former students achieve their goals and reach new milestones. After her passing, uh, <coughs> Catherine's friends, family, former colleagues, and students set up the scholarship to assist high school uh, graduates in offsetting the cost of earning their college degree. This year's recipient was received $2,500 to help offset college expenses. Um, as Catherine's favorite philosopher, and of course, we're the food, once said, promise me that you'll always remember. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. It's hoped that those who receive the scholarship will keep, keep these words in their hearts as they work to achieve their own life's goals. While the right, right hand may not be always smooth, always believe in yourself and you will succeed. I'd like to congratulate this winner, year's winner, um, Ms. Erin Davis. Please welcome to the stage Ms. Patricia Rowe. Thank you. 
excelled in academics, in their community, and other skill sets that they had. The Merit Scholarship Awards in the amount of $5,000 go to Mackenzie Owens, The second $1,000 Merit Scholarship goes to Elizabeth Wilson. And the third scholarship, Merit Scholarship, goes to Skylar West. From the Norris Women's Club, Miss Kathy Hurst. I feel smarter already. This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful group of, of students. I am honored to present the Norris Women's Club scholarship of $1,000 to the busiest senior I can imagine, Miss Caroline Sperling. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Mike Farley. see anybody, but I know a lot of you I saw coming in. For those that don't know me, I'm Michael Farley. Twenty years ago, Bruce Fox and I started the law firm of Fox and Farley, which has now grown into Fox, Farley, Willis, and Burnett. Many years ago, we began a scholarship program to provide assistance to a student at each of our community's high school, including Clinton, Oak Ridge, and Anderson County. It's a highlight of our year to choose our recipient but each year that job gets more difficult. <clears throat> that is a testament to the quality of the student body and educators here at Anderson County High School. Now you can be proud of your students and your teachers here. What we look for in awarding the scholarship is someone who has shown maturity and growth in a lot of areas, not only academically, but in service to their school and community and an ability to work hard. We look for folks who maybe have had to overcome some obstacles to become high achievers. We think encouraging these students will make our community that much stronger in our future. Our scholarship recipient tonight has all of these qualities. Tonight I'm happy to recognize Anna Leonard as a recipient of the Fox Farley Wilson Burnett Annual Scholarship. I also have the honor tonight to be here on behalf of the Anderson County Bar Association. The Anderson County Bar Association has been awarding scholarships to each of our high schools for longer than I've been practicing law, and that's a pretty good while. The Bar Association <clears throat> uh, looks for high achievers and also students who are committed to service in the community. Tonight, I am proud to award the Anderson County Bar Association scholarship scholarship to Aaron Olivia Davis. <laughs> Thank you. Here to present the Ann Higginbotham Memorial Scholarship, Mr. Tate Russell. My grandmother, Ann Higginbotham, was an educator for 30 years in Kimball County. She retired and worked another 10 years for Middlesboro City Schools. She was helping with STEM lessons up until she became ill. She loved teaching, loved kids, and had a positive energy. This scholarship is given in her memory. The money is raised from the annual B of Beast 5K every September. 
The recipients are chosen by the Delta Kappa Gamma Beta Phi chapter at Kimmel County. This year we have three recipients. It is my pleasure to award the Ann Hickenbotham Memorial Scholarship to Corey Horton, Caroline Sperling, and Haley Braden. Regina O'Neill Butcher was a lifetime, lifetime educator from New York who spent the bulk of her career serving the students and community of Anderson County. She had a particular passion for special education, but her true desire was to see all students reach their full potential both academically and as young adults in the community. She was tough as nails but sweet as sugar, and the defining aspect of her educational career was that she never gave up on seeing a student reach their goals. She often believed in others more than they believed in themselves, and as a result, she inspired the students, parents, and staff she worked with on a daily basis. She is greatly missed, but the impact of her, of her dedication to education can be st uh, still seen in those who have had the privilege of knowing her. This year, the recipients of the Regina Austin O'Neill Butcher and Willard C. Chuck Butchered Memorial Awards in the sum of $1,000 each are Madison Howard and Justin Wiseman. Thank you. The Anderson County High School Band Booster, uh, this, each year the ACHS Band Booster Board offers a student with outstanding leadership and musicianship a $500 scholarship. This year's recipient is Shandy Dice. Please welcome to the stage, Dennis Curtin. He, everybody's right, you can't see you out there. <laughs> the important people are behind me anyway, right? I'd like to take a few minutes and talk with y'all. You got a few minutes? Um, Y'all are leaving the safest place you will ever live. You're going to be making new friends. You're going to be making big decisions for yourselves and your friends. You will be marked by the friends you keep. It's your chance. For the past 16, 17, 18 years, you've been able to kind of mix with friends that it's kind of put in front of you. You're going places now that, you, you, that you, your parents will have no influence on you friends you pick. It's very important you pick good ones. Um, my son Michael was a, a student here, only made it to his junior year. Um, and that's one of those things that happens. Uh, you, he, ma he made a lot of good decisions. The one bad decision he made was to come home from a soccer game that had been called off. The morning was a uh, cool morning. It hadn't rained in two weeks. Cool morning, we had like a heavy fog. He was coming north on 441, just south of the uh, uh, 61 intersection at Norris. And the, uh, he was doing 30 miles an hour, he following a lady. And something happened. The wheels broke loose on the tire, on the, from the road slid sideways, hit a tree. That was at uh, 9.30 in the morning. He was dead at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Things change in a hurry. You don't have to make big, bad decisions. Little ones are important. So you guys make good decisions, take care of yourselves, make your parents proud. The first, uh, I've got two scholarships to give out. The first one was in, in honor of Michael Curtin. Uh, it's called the Michael Curtin Renaissance Student Scholarship. And this year, the winner of the Michael Curtin Renaissance Student Scholarship is McLean Sperling.
The uh, second scholarship I've got to award is from the Norris Lions Club, and it goes to a student who's, de who's demonstrated exemplary community service. This year's uh, recipient of the Norris Lions Club scholarship is Corey Horton. The Stephen L. Coffey Memorial Scholarship is a scholarship in the amount of $1,500. This year's recipient is Leah Cobble. Please welcome to the stage Miss Jenny Maselli. I must have gotten my name in fast enough because Tim Shelton was supposed to be this <laughs> the presenter tonight, so I, I actually made it on the program, so that's awesome. Um, I'm a former special ed teacher. I taught here for 30 years and um, retired in 2016 and been, have been involved with uh, Clinton Civitan. It was formerly Clinton Civitan, and uh, just a year ago we changed uh, to Anderson County Civitan so that we could include the whole um, county. Civitan was very good to me while I taught here. They kind of adopted my classroom and um, funded our, our breakfast cart and Special Olympics equipment. Um, they gave us parties. They were, they were awesome. So um, they twisted my arm to be a member and I'm, I'm hoping to give it back. Um, Civitan, and give you a little background. Civitan International has a long history of giving back to the community. It was founded in 1917 in Birmingham, Alabama. The idea was to build a better community through service to others. Since 1992, Civitan has sponsored the Civitan International Research Center that focuses on cures and developing treatments for issues such as autism, Rett syndrome, Down syndrome, and many other brain-related disorders. Today, Civitan International is dedicated to serving people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. <laughs> I'm here to present a $1,000 scholarship to a student who is very deserving, and it's kind of after my own heart. She, she kind of wants to go into teaching, and she served as a peer buddy, and I had, when I had my job, I had awesome peer buddies uh, that helped me out in the classroom. Um, I'm honored to offer Madison Shaw a thousand dollars from Cynthia. Please welcome to the stage for the next scholarship presentation, David Smith. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure to be able to present the very first Clinch Valley CrossFit scholarship. Um, this being the first one, we thought was appropriate to thank several, uh, several of our members who are in the room as well, who helped develop this scholarship and make it a special thing for years to come. Uh, those individuals are, uh, include Ashley Horton, Kath Catherine Birkbeck, Molly Farah, Captain Zach Farah, Dale Cantrell, Dr. Tim Parrott, Dr. Lori Stoudemire, Bly Sanders, Missy Sanders, and your very own assistant principal, Mr. Travis Freeman. Um, give them a round of applause. Thank you guys for helping us do this. We're so excited, not only for the scholarship, but we actually get to award three $750 plus dollar scholarships this year. We say plus because it continues to grow. We actually have a few events that are gonna be dedicated to this where the funds that we do raise will uh, continue to grow. Right now it stands at three $750 scholarships. I'd like to welcome three um, very special young men to us, all members of the Clinch Valley family. 
Um, to get this award, uh, the Clinch Valley CrossFit, uh, CrossFit Scholarship is awarded to our graduating seniors who, regardless of their fitness journey, um, are pursuing uh, three values that we hold very, very close to us. That is humility, um, a ridiculous work ethic that we call hunger, and a happy, healthy mindset. Please help me welcome to the stage, and I'll call all three up at the same time, Ethan Charles, Malin Haverkamp, and Gavin Bollinger. The Cold Creek Lodge number 492 is honored and proud to continue their efforts for scholarship needs. In the past several years, they've been blessed to award two deserving students a $500 scholarship. While this year has been full of changes and trying times, they are even more blessed to announce the ability to present two scholarship awards. Through a very, uh, very hard selection and very deserving students, the winners are Haley Braden and Lucas Pruitt. The Clinch Bend Chapter, NSDAR, selected one student from Anderson County High School to receive the DAR uh, Good Citizen Award uh, and compete in a scholarship competition. Recipients were evaluated on leadership, citizenship, and academic achievement. Additionally, the Clinch Bend Chapter has given a $200 monetary award to Caroline Sperling. The L.M. McElwain Scholarship, this is a $500 scholarship awarded to Natalie Lindsay. <laughs> the Helping Hands Scholarship, these scholarships vary in amount. This year's winners are, if you'll hold your applause, there's several, Emily Carter, Victoria Goins, Marcy Gross, Murray Hoover, Madison Howard, Andrew Jones, Amy Myers, Arshawn Stewart, and Serena Woodward. The Ken D. Scholarship, this is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to Summer Morris. The Dr. Curtis Sexton Visionary Award is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to high school seniors on a career and technical post-secondary path. Dr. Sexton had a vision for the need of career and technical education when our school was founded, and he still holds the same vision today. It is with great pride and honor that we award the 2023 Dr. Curtis Sexton Visionary Award to John Ross Whited. The New Horizon Scholarship is a private funded scholarship in the amount of $500 available to CTE students. This scholarship is being awarded to Wyatt Lodal. The Men of Tomorrow Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to Kendall Knoll. The Alpha Kappa Alpha and Men of Tomorrow Scholarship is this is the Keep the Dream Alive Scholarship awarded to Mr. K. 
Kendall Null. The Linda Roush Honorary. This scholarship awards a student who has excelled above and beyond during their high school career with a $400 scholarship. This year's winners are, and there are several, so please hold your applause, Reagan Bannock, Skylar West, Caroline Olivares Torres, Gracie Roberts, and John Ross Whited. The Middle College Student of the Year Chemistry Award and 4.0 Award from Roan State and from Middle College is Leah Cobble. <laughs> the Lance Wright Memorial Scholarship. This is a $500 scholarship awarded to Natalie Lindsay. The Anderson County Cattlemen's Association Scholarship. This is a $500 scholarship awarded to Riley Irwin. The R.G. and Ruth Crosno Memorial Scholarship. This is a scholarship for $1,000 per year. It is renewable for four years with a total value of $4,000. Leah Cobble and Summer Morris. The Clarence and Ruby Childress Memorial Scholarship. This is a $2,150 scholarship awarded to Anna Leonard. The Smoky Mountain Lions Charities Scholarship. This is a $500 scholarship awarded to Caitlin Meredith and Jacob Richards. Please help me welcome to the stage, Dale and Ben Cantrell. Okay. The March the, no, February the 25th, 1999, I had a son. And everything was great for four days. And then four days after he was born, my son developed a brain bleed. And we spent the next four months in a hospital, got out of the hospital, thought things were going great, and he developed infantile spasms right before his first birthday. And they took us into a waiting room, me and his mom, Nikki, and they told us that he would never walk, never talk, never be able to feed himself, never be able to breathe without a tube, wouldn't be able to identify colors, would never be able to identify us and you talk about a gut punch. I was worthless. Nikki carried the load. She never said no to any doctor's request, lived out of state to get my son therapy, and all I could do was pray. I would sit in the chapel and I would pray. And you saw this young man walk up these stairs. Freeman knows and GT knows he talks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and a group of educators, specifically Tim Parrott, Jeff Harshbarger, Teresa Taylor, and Sue Voskamp came up with the idea of starting a Connect Learning Academy that was no limits, because too often we were limiting what these students could do. And we asked Ben, when he was a junior, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to become a teaching assistant. And so we put no limits on it, and he was pushed, he got up to, to high school, and Travis Freeman practically adopted him, loved him. Ben Downs loved him. Davy Gillum loved him. 
and they worked his butt off. And he walked across the stage at Roan County, uh, or Roan State Community College with a associate's degree, and he is now a teaching assistant. And His next goal is to replace Travis Freeman as the assistant <laughs> principal. That won't be hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> and so we formed an association called the Ben Cantrell No Limits Association, and it provides services such as uh, exchange Uber rides for friends and family with people with special needs, scribe services in college, extra tutoring, and we decided to give 10 $1,000 scholarships to people that have graduated through the Connect Academy, and Ben was the selector of each recipient. So do not hold your applause to the end for these students because they have no limits and hopefully one day they will be back here passing out awards of their own. So the 10 Ben Cantrell No Limit Scholarship Award recipients this year are Daniel Collins, <laughs> Amber Grisham, <laughs> Nicholas Hammond, <laughs> Madison Howard, <laughs> James Hunley. Miranda McGee, <laughs> Adriana Riffey, John Paul Sellers, Jaquan White, and Serena Woodward. nice you get to come out on a Tuesday night and have fun so um, they asked me to give one other scholarship while I was here from the Anderson County Board of Education uh, the Board of Education contributes a thousand dollars to three different recipients from each of the schools and this year's recipient is Summer Morris Thank you, Ben and Dale. Uh, moving forward in our presentation, uh, the Belmont University Merit Scholarship worth $10,000 is awarded tonight to Miss Ashlyn Stansberry. The Carson Newman University Football Scholarship and Dean's Scholarship, where $13,000 is awarded to Walker Martinez. <laughs> the 
the East Tennessee State University Faculty Scholarship, $2,000 per year, Corey Horton. Okay. The, just, stay right, just stay right there. We'll get all, all to ETSU together there. ETSU Provost APS Scholarship, $4,000 per year, Greta Williams. <laughs> East Tennessee State University Faculty Scholarship, $2,000 per year, Ethan Charles. East Tennessee State University Presidential Award, $5,000 per year, Haley Lawson. Congratulations, students. Three recipients from Lincoln Memorial University, the Lincoln Grant and Presidential Scholarship worth $21,000, Aaron Davis. The Lincoln Grant and Presidential Scholarship from Lincoln Memorial University, worth $15,000, Anna Leonard. Another Lincoln Memorial University Presidential Scholarship and Legacy Scholarship worth $15,000, Sydney Long. Congratulations. <clears throat> From Lipscomb University, the Academic Scholarship and Community Vision Award were $20,000, Natalie Heatherly. <clears throat> From Middle Tennessee State University, the Buchanan Fellowship Scholarship, full tuition, books, and study abroad, Congratulations, William Beard. The Milligan University Academic Scholarship and Athletic Scholarship uh, totaling $26,000 per year, Connor Chandler. Also from Milligan University, receiving the Milligan Friendship Friends Scholarship, Milligan Women's Cross Country Scholarship, and Milligan Women's Track and Field Scholarship for a grant, grant totaling about $35,000 a year, Megan Hare. Murray State University receiving the Murray State Football Scholarship, full tuition, room and board, Bryson Val. The Naval Academy. The Navy pays 100% of the tuition, room and board, and medical and dental care costs of Naval Academy midshipmen. In addition, all midshipmen receive a little over 1000 but almost $1,100 per month, which covers the cost of laundry, activity fees, barbers, yearbook costs, and other services. This award is valued at over $550,000 each. Additionally, the, Navy, uh, the Naval Academy has a 100% post-graduation employment. The acceptance rate is usually around 8%, and Anderson County High School has two who have received an appointment this year. This is an extremely high honor and should be held in very high regard. Those two are McLean Sperling and Gavin No. McLean Sperling will be receiving full tuition room aboard for academics and Gavin No for academics as well as football. <laughs> Rome State Community College President's Award worth $1,500. This year's recipient was Leah Cobble. 
Leah is the first middle college student to ever receive the President's Award at Roan State, and this award is given to the top Roan State Community College student. The Tennessee Tech Presidential Scholarship and Rex Hitchcock Memorial Scholarship valued at $6,000 a year, Summer Morris. Also from Tennessee Tech, receiving the Presidential Scholarship valued at $5,500 a year, Kaylee Kennedy. Thank you, ladies. The Tennessee Wesleyan University Merit Award, valued at $10,000 a year, Halen Willis. The West Virginia University Merit Scholarship and Mountaineering Scholarship, valued at $8,000 a year, Anna Bates. Medical University of South Carolina, the, the uh, admission scholarship valued at $2,500 a year, Ms. Leah Cobble. And from James Madison University, receiving the Excellence Award, valued at $9,800 per year, Caroline Sperling. From the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, the Pledge Scholarship and the UT Orange and White Scholarship, one at 7629 and one at 1500, Natalie Lindsay. The Volunteer Scholarship at 3000 a year, and the previous ones were also per year. Uh, 3000 a year, the Volunteer Scholarship, Anna K. Smith. The UT Orange and White Scholarship at $1,500 a year, Ala Coker. The Volunteer Scholarship at $5,000 a year, Tate Russell. The Volunteer Scholarship and the UT Orange and White Scholarship totaling $10,500 a year, Nicholas Reynolds. The Volunteer Scholarship at $5,000 a year and an Athletic Cheer Scholarship for $6,000 a year, Willow Martinez. The Volunteer Scholarship at $5,000 a year, Zachary Lester. The Music Education Scholarship at $4,000 per year, Shandy Dice. The Volunteer Scholarship at $9,000 a year, Justin Wiseman. The Volunteer Scholarship at $3,000 a year, Ilwin Hunter. The Volunteer Scholarship at $5,000 per year, Grant Jennings. The Pledge Scholarship at $7,629, the UT Orange and White Scholarship at $1,500, and the J.B. Lyle Music Education Scholarship at $350 per year, Addison Shaw. The Volunteer Scholarship at $3,000 per year, Jackson Cawthorn. The Volunteer Scholarship and the Tickle College of Engineering at $5,000 per year both, Kendall Null. Mr. Kendall Null. <laughs> The Volunteer Scholarship and the Merit Scholarship at $3,600 total, Lucas Pruitt. Give all these folks a big round of applause.
getting ready to stand you guys back up again. The uh, Tennessee Lottery scholarships provide $4,500 a year for students attending a four-year college and $3,000 per year for students attending a two-year college. To qualify, students must have a 21 on the ACT or a 3.0 final GPA. Some students will qualify after their final GPAs are figured in early June. Students must complete the FAFSA to receive lottery scholarship. As of today, we have 140 students at Anderson County High School have qualified to receive the lottery scholarship. Please stand if you are qualified to receive a lottery scholarship. 140 of you. <clears throat> <clears throat> You may be seated. Tennessee Promise is a scholarship that provides an opportunity for Tennessee high school students to receive up to $4,000 annually for community college tuition. It is an initiative of Governor, it was an initiative of Governor Haslam and is funded by private donations. This is a last dollar program which assures that students can attend community college tuition free. We have 170 students who have met the requirements to receive that scholarship. Please stand if you are a Tennessee Promise recipient. <laughs> college credits. We have several students who will be graduating with college credits from Roan State or Tennessee College of Applied Technology. The lottery dual enrollment grant helped make this possible by paying $300 per semester towards the expenses. Please stand at this time if you have received college credits during your high school career. <laughs> Anderson County High School students have earned 1,500 hours of college credit through dual enrollment classes at Roan State and over 3,500 clock hours at TCAT. Congratulations to these students for getting a jump on your college career. Middle College includes 11 seniors who have met requirements for an associate degree through Roan State while earning their high school diploma. Please stand as I call your name. Gavin Bollinger, Ella Brummett, Ethan Charles, Leah Cobble, Shanti Dice, Samuel Howard, Zachary Lester, Summer Morris, Dev Patel, Aspen Wilson. These students were, were provided a red and silver cord at their Roan State graduation ceremony and will be wearing them at our commencement. Congratulations. <laughs> the four-year potential value offered to the class of 2023 is over eight million dollars. Congratulations. Now we would like to uh, introduce our distinction graduates. Uh, please hold your applause to the very end because there are quite a few of them. And uh, students will be recognized as graduating with distinction by attaining a B average and completing at least one of the following, the nationally recognized industry certification, uh, the, competing in one of the governor's schools, participating in uh, the state's all state musical organizations, being selected as a national merit finalist or semifinalist, attain a score of 31 or higher composite on the ACT, attain a score of three or higher on at least two AP exams, or earning 12 or more semester credit hours, transcripted post-secondary credit hours, such as dual enrollment. Distinction graduates will be wearing blue and white cords at graduation. Again, please hold your applause at the end because there are quite a few graduates you probably will have to wrap around the stage and even into the, the floor a little bit. Uh, Mr. Downs will direct you there. Uh, Reagan Hannah Bannock, John Evan Barker, William Rush Beard, Gavin Luke Bollinger, Eli Anthony Braden, Haley Nashea Braden, Justin Michael Bruce, Ella Grace Brummett, Connor Mason Chandler, Ethan Gray Charles, Jonathan Clifford Klingen, Leah Elise Cobble, Cobble, sorry, Gracie M Marie Coday, Isla Olivia Coker, J.C. Kaylin Cooper, Jackson Reed Cothran, Aaron Olivia Davis, Riley James Davis, Shandy Marie Dice, Kimber Saria Edwards, Mason Hunter Goins, Victoria Brooke Goins, Megan Perry Hare, Scarlett Elizabeth Hall, Corey Scott Haynes, 
Mariah Beth Heatherly, Natalie Shea Heatherly, Brandon Ray Hemphill, Patrick Henry Hooks IV, Corey Reese Horton, Samuel Aaron Howard, Kayla Nicole Humphrey, James Ryan Hunley, Eowyn Lynn Hunter, Riley Faith Irwin, Grantham John Jennings, Leah Morgan Johnson, Kaylee Jade Kennedy, Haley Leanne Lawson, Rachel Nicole Ledbetter, Naomi Ray Lemansky, Anna Renee Leonard, Zachary Keith Lester, Natalie May Lindsay, Wyatt Donovan Lodal, Sydney Marie Long, Morgan Reese Maggi, Brooke Leah Martin, Walker Alexander Martinez, Willow May Martinez, Josie Ann McRae, Caitlin Danielle Meredith, Braden Hayes Miller, Summer Dixie Morris, Amy Brooke Myers, Gavin Gabrielle No, Kendall Lane Knoll, Mackenzie Shea Owens, Dev Kalpesh Patel, Matthew Garrett Policcio, Lucas Bradley Pruitt, Nicholas Cade Reynolds, Jacob Matthew Ryan Richards, Joseph Austin Riggs, Gracie Olivia Roberts, Malia Taylor Lee Rogers, Kaylee Brooke Rutherford, Emma Jane Seguise, Autumn Hope Sands, John Thomas Sawyer, Carlotta Shaylin Schley, Addison Lou Faith Shaw, Madison Ida Grace Shaw, Anna K. Smith, Caroline Christian Sperling, Curtis McLean Sperling, Ashlyn Elizabeth Stansberry, Dalton Audrin Tackett, Victoria Catherine Thompson, Christian Lee Tuttle, Skylar Christian West, Jonathan Ross Whited, Greta Leanne Williams, Halen Joy Willis, Brendan Thomas Wilson, Catherine Elizabeth Ann Wilson, and Justin Charles Wiseman. Please join us as we congratulate these graduates. Received your, yeah. If you've received your cords, please have a seat. At this time, we'll have the introduction of honors graduates, students who score at or above all subject area readiness benchmarks on the ACT or equivalent score on the SAT, those ACT benchmarks, English 18, Math 22, Reading 22, and Science 23. Beginning with the graduating class of 2022, numeric class rank had been replaced by the Latin honorific distinction established by Harvard University in 1869 with the terms cum laude with honor, magnum cum laude with great honor, and summa cum laude with highest honor. To qualify for this distinction, students must fall within GPA ranges outlined uh, below uh, regarding their weighted GPA as well as reaching all four benchmarks on the ACT. This distinction is determined by the GPA as follows, cum laude 3.5 to 379, Magnum cum laude 3.8 to 3.99, and summa cum laude 4.0. Honor graduates will be wearing gold cords at graduation. Once again, if you will hold your applause, my list isn't as significantly long as Mr. Chambers, but it is significant. Jonah Van Arender, summa cum laude. Reagan Hannah Bannock, summa cum laude. John Evan Barker, summa cum laude. William Rush Beard, summa cum laude. Gavin Luke Bollinger, summa cum laude. Haley Nache Braden, summa cum laude. Jonathan Mark 
Brown, summa cum laude, Justin Michael Bruce, magnum cum laude, Ella Grace Brummett, summa cum laude, Connor Mason Chandler, summa cum laude, Ethan Gray Charles, cum laude, Jonathan Clifford Klingen, cum laude, Leah Elise Cobble, summa cum laude, Gracie Marie Coday, summa cum laude, Isla Olivia Coker, summa cum laude, Jackson Reed Cawthorn, summa cum laude, Riley James Davis, summa cum laude, Shandy Marie Dice, summa cum laude, Kimber Sierra Edwards, cum laude, Scotty Wade Flatford, cum laude, Mason Hunter Goins, cum laude, Gretchen Elizabeth Holloway, cum laude, Kayla Nicole Humphrey, summa cum laude, Ewan Lynn Hunter, summa cum laude, Grantham John Jennings, summa cum laude, Kaylee Jade Kennedy, summa cum laude, Haley Leanne Lawson, summa cum laude, Rachel Nicole Ledbetter, summa cum laude, Naomi Ray Lemansky, summa cum laude, Zachary Keith Lester, summa cum laude, Natalie May Lindsay, summa cum laude, Morgan Reese Maggi, summa cum laude, Walker Alexander Martinez, cum laude, Willer, Willow May Martinez, summa cum laude, Lucas James May, summa cum laude, Caitlin Danielle Meredith, summa cum laude, Braden Hayes Miller, summa cum laude, Summer Dixie Morris, summa cum laude, Christopher Edward Nelson, cum laude, Gavin Gabriel No, summa cum laude, Mr. Kendall Lane Null, summa cum laude, Mackenzie Shea Owens, summa cum laude, Dev Kalpesh Patel, summa cum laude, Lucas Bradley Pruitt, magna cum laude, Nicholas Cade Reynolds, summa cum laude, Tate Addison Russell, summa cum laude, Autumn Hope Sands, summa cum laude, Carlotta Shailen Schley, summa cum laude, Addison Lou Faith Shaw, summa cum laude, Anna K. Smith, summa cum laude, Curtis McLean Sperling, summa cum laude, Ashlyn Elizabeth Stansberry, summa cum laude, Jonathan Ross Whited, magnum cum laude, Greta Lee Ann Williams, summa cum laude, Catherine Elizabeth Ann Wilson, summa cum laude, Justin Charles Wiseman, summa cum laude, Joshua Matthew Zupan, cum laude. Give all these students another big round of applause. At this time, I'd like to turn the microphone over to Ms. Jenny Irwin for our closing remarks. Thank you everyone for coming tonight. This is an extra special group and we can't wait to celebrate them next Friday night. Everyone have a good evening. <laughs>